You're watching the Ship on Day One Field Guide. I'm Hans, let's get ship done. You're probably watching this video because you're interested in better scaling your infrastructure orchestration. You've probably already chosen the frameworks and tools that you'd like to use in order to configure your infrastructure. However, maybe they're not scaled as broadly as you would like. And as software developers, you and I know that it's important for our teammates to understand the frameworks that we're using, as well as agree that they're the right tools for the job. During this video, we're going to look at three concrete steps to scale our infrastructure orchestration. Step one, we're going to make sure that we've well documented how we have the infrastructure configuration set up for one of our projects. And this is probably the project that you looked at in the getting started video. Then we're going to take this documentation and give it to our teammates. In step two, each member of our team will set up a project with a new infrastructure orchestration. This cross pollinates and makes sure that every single member of the team has hands-on experience with the framework and the tools that we've chosen to use. For this, it's important that our documentation isn't just the same as what's written on the framework's website. It should be specific enough to our hosting technologies and to the projects that we own that's easy for other team members in order to use that documentation. Step three, finally, make sure that everyone on the team understands that this level of provisioning should be very similar to software deployments. Set as a goal that no one should ever have to SSH into a box when setting up infrastructure or deploying software. If that's the case, then take a look at the infrastructure orchestration and see if you could better configure it in order to remove that manual step. Once you've completed these three things, you'll find that your infrastructure orchestration is significantly better scaled. And as a goal, by the end of this sprint, try and have the documentation written so that starting next sprints, your team members can start orchestrating infrastructure on their own projects. Next, we'll look at measuring and optimizing infrastructure orchestration to make sure that the system you've chosen is right for the projects that you're using it for. You can find those videos and so many more development resources at shipondayone.com. I'll see you there. Thank you.